Hello, welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. Thank you for watching on the YouTube and listening on the iTunes. Um, there's an article here that came out uh, March 11th uh, in truthdig.com. It says, schools brace for national walkout over gun violence. And uh, they're talking about a lot of schools are planning various types of walkout. And the reaction that some of the schools have had, some of the schools have threatened to suspend kids, which is just like awesome. Great way to teach them their civic responsibility and, and ex exercising their First Amendment right. We're gonna rah, keep you in line. Um, it's yeah. So here's the different the different schools that have been walking out. I think these the, every high school kid should walk out and they should pick a day. I know there's a big one organized for March 24th, which is good. That's on a Saturday though. Uh, and this article also goes into, they're talking about doing one on Friday, April 20th, because that's the anniversary of the Columbine shooting, which is now really low on the number of people killed in a mass shooting, which is just horrifying. Um, so, uh, yeah, April 20th will be the 19th anniversary of the Columbine shooting. And the... Women's March organizers have called for a 17 minute walkout, one minute for each one of the students that were killed in Parkland, Florida, but I think it needs to be bigger. My, just, this is just my opinion. I think, I think like April 20th, maybe that's the day and everybody walks out or something. <laughs> just decides not to go to school. So, um, I, I'll go into some of these other, some of these other reactions. Um, and, and the, which shows you the hard line, like these kids, they're gonna get suspended and so what, man, come on. If you're in high school, let me tell you something, your, your, your permanent record doesn't mean anything. Now some colleges have stepped up. They've Harvard, Yale, MIT, University of Connecticut, UCLA, and dozens of other colleges and universities uh, have said that their participation uh, in a walkout won't affect chances of getting admitted. So if any high school kids are like, cause that threat, you know, oh, you won't get into college, right? Um, in Needville, Texas, near Houston, Superintendent Curtis Rose was castigated on social media after he warned that students who leave class would be suspended for three days, even if they got parental permission. Uh, and people went after him. In Garrison, South Dakota, administrators canceled a student walkout planned for April 20th after a Facebook posting about the plan drew more than 300 negative comments from adults. Kids, let me tell you something about a walkout. You don't need your parents' permission. Don't let the administrators tell you, don't let the administrators organize your admission because the parents have failed you. Let me tell you something. Parents, adults have failed you. The adults that control this country have failed you. That's why you're not safe. Okay? So don't wait for mommy and daddy or the administration to let you decide to walk out. Say, we're doing this. And if people get on the internet and write mean comments, fuck them. They're gun lovers, or they're they're excited about children getting murdered, or they're just fucking assholes, or they're fuck them. Walk out. April twentieth, pick the day. Walk out, man. <laughs> so, um, in Arizona, dozens of students at Ingleside Middle School near Phoenix were given one day suspensions after they left campus on February twenty seventh. Do it. Coordinate it nationwide. I'm telling you, don't just do one school or do it nationwide. If millions of high school kids don't go to school one day, things will change. I mean, I'm telling you, walk out for weeks. That's the only thing why things will change. Um, an eighth grade student, Langside, said she wanted to participate in the walkout, but didn't because of the threatened suspensions. She plus planned on doing a, the, the march on, the, the, there's a March 14th walkout, even if it means getting suspended. This is this coming Wednesday. It's important for me to speak my mind on this topic, she said. At the end of the day, they shouldn't be able to punish us for ex exercising our First Amendment's right. Yeah, you're right. AASA, the School Superintendents Association, has, filed, has fielded dozens of calls and emails from school administrators acting for asking for advice, while the American Civil Liberties Union has received hundreds of inquiries from students about their rights and if they can be disciplined for participating in protests. The answer depends on the school's disciplinary code and the code of conduct, right? The disciplinary policies. 
The ACLU generally has been advising students that because they are required to go to school by law, administrators can discipline them for unexcused absences. Yeah, this is what this is what resisting and protesting means. It means you might get some, you might get lose some grades, you might get docked some points. It's what it means. It's what it means. People go on strike. That means they're losing. They didn't get paid. They didn't get paid. But you want more. You want more school shootings. Or can you handle a C plus instead of an A or a B? Because I'm here telling you right now, my college GPA has no effect on the fact that I'm doing this show. It has zero effect on the fact that I'm producing, directing, and hosting a TV show. I busted my ass. Getting good grades is nice. It's important, but it's not the end of the world. Hustling, being a good person, being honest, showing up on time, getting the job done, admitting when you make a mistake. Not crying about making excuses. Oh, was it my fault? Going, I'm sorry, I screwed up. I dropped the ball. Let me, I'll change. That's what. That's what the kind of employees that I look for. Crybaby fuck sticks of all ages. I don't want to hire them. So, they're just trying to threaten you. You know. In Mooresville, Indiana, administrators met with 10 high school student leaders to work out a plan. Mooresville High School Principal Brian Disney said the students plan to use the school's public address system to read short statements about mental illness, the importance of kindness, and standing up against all school violence before inviting all students to gather in a school hallway for 17 minutes of silence. That's cool. That's pretty touching. And Anne... uh, Arundel County, Maryland, administrators are still talking with students about how they can participate without violating school rules. That's good. Talk to the administration. That's good. But if shit don't get done, get up and walk out. If you want to work at the administration and and not get punishment or bad grades, okay. 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 If you don't get into the college of your dreams because you stood up to end gun violence in a school and that college held that against you, fuck that college. That college can go fuck itself. That college doesn't want free thinkers on its campus. It wants uh, robots. So do what's in your best, what's in your what's what's in your heart and in your mind. But sometimes doing the right thing means you it it, it ain't all gonna you're not. It, it, you're going to have to take some shit for doing the right thing. I lost a job last summer over my Twitter feed because of the politics of, that I have on this show. And my Twitter feed was not going after Trump. It wasn't saying fuck you. It wasn't much of swear words. It was me calling out corporate Democrats, mainly in California, like Anthony Rendon, who shot down single-payer health care. That's why I was fired by a massive media company for speaking my mind. And you know what what I did after that? I was like, oh man, I lost a bunch of work. I kept fucking doing this show because I don't give a good goddamn what a bunch of corporate assholes think. Google is trying to shut me down. They're trying to shut independent media down. I'm not gonna stop doing this. I've lost some friends over these, these ideas, my neoliberals and stuff like that. I'm not quitting. Doing the right thing doesn't mean everybody agrees and you get an A plus and a star and a participation medal. Sometimes doing the right thing means you got to eat a big fat fucking shit sandwich. But you know what? It's the right thing. So that's why you do it. You want to learn about the world? Any teenagers watching this, you want to learn about the world? It means standing up for yourself. And that sometimes means people are going to fucking spit in your face when you do that. People are going to tell you no. People are going to tell you you're wrong, you're crazy, you're stupid. I know people that have come forward about abuse and they've confronted their family members and the family members said, oh, you're crazy, you're losing your mind. What are you, gay? (laughs) Wasn't my responsibility. I've heard people tell me that. So stand up for what you believe in and know that it ain't all going to work out. But in the long run, it will. Look at the people that protested in the 60s. Look what what they did. Bernie Sanders was arrested. (laughs) So 
I'm not, don't be violent, be peaceful, peaceful protest, but coordinated pro protests that are co in conjunction with the school. Okay, that's cool, man. If the school's down with it and there's reading of the names, that's a, that, that's a, that's a cool, heartfelt way to do it. But you want to get, if, but if that doesn't change anything, you got to be ready to walk. You got to be ready to get up and walk. And sometimes you don't do it when it's convenient or it fits your schedule and everyone's in agreement. Sometimes you just got to go, I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm walking. I'm leaving. Anyone wants to follow me, they can. If it, no one does, too bad. I'm walking. I've done that. I've been the only guy, man. I've been the only guy sometimes. <laughs> and it's nice to have everybody come with you and pat you in the back and say, yeah, we got your back. But the right thing is the right thing. So, here's what I'll tell you what one Anika Nyack, a student organizer in Somerville, Massachusetts says. Here's her quote. We're really just fed up with the lack of action that's been taken in our country. We don't think enough people are listening. I'm listening. And the people that aren't, shut down the school system. They'll wake the fuck up. 300 mean comments on a Facebook page about from South Dakota. Mm, fuck them. Do you want to get gunned down in your school because we live in a fucking ridiculous country where the NRA controls our politicians? Is that the kind of country you want to live in? I don't want to live in that country. I got six nieces and nephews and a bunch of them are in high school and it's terrifying. So walk out, man. <laughs>